Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at the Green Caterpillar DOS virus. This is actually one of my favorite viruses as its payload is pretty unique and pretty clever. So we will go ahead and run it. And we get a sacrificial goat message. And this file is now in memory and will infect other files if I can type. So if we look at sys.com, normally 9,432 bytes. If we run it and check it again. File size increases to 11,020 after the virus infects it. Same thing can be seen with exe files. If we run power, we will see it increase from 8,052 bytes to 9,644. And this virus actually does not infect our old friend graphics.com for whatever reason. If we run it, it does not get infected, which is interesting. So anyway, payload activates three months after the initial infection. So in this case it would be April 25th, 1995. Change the date and now we'll run one of our infected files. And we get a green caterpillar that walks across our screen and eats our text and then poops out yellow text several spaces to the left. This persists within other text-based programs like Edit. So we are in the MS-DOS editor writing a paper, gotta get it done, and eventually our caterpillar friend gets there and eats our text and moves it around. Exit out, it's still going. You can try doing directory listings, however it keeps on trying to draw, and it will just keep going like this as long as it's the third month after infection. And yeah, it's pretty simple, not destructive. I just really like this because the payload is pretty neat. Uh, it's a very clever, interesting way to uh, mess with users. And yeah, there's not really too much to say. I just really enjoy this virus, and I hope you do too. And that's about it for the Green Caterpillar DOS virus. Thank you for watching.